Hey guys, welcome back to the channel this week. If you're new here, I'm Chuck. And I'm Allie. And we are Allie Chuck Adventures. And this week we are going to take you and show you the first part of our 2022 Thanksgiving trip. And a little hint right here. At our new favorite Georgia State Park, Vogel State Park. This park is amazing and we are already making plans to go back next year. Yes, we are. <laughs> closer to Vogel State Park. We're about eight miles away. This is a steep, steep grade. Yeah, we're getting higher and higher. My ears are popping. My ears are popping and Nikki's a whining. <laughs> She's ready to get out and explore. Yeah, pretty much all the leaves have fallen. There's still a couple patches here and there, but... There's a lot of little uh, switchbacks on this road. Yes, there is. Into it, which I wasn't expecting. A little scary. It's a little scary pulling a big RV. Not gonna lie. And it's a straight drop off. Look at the drop off over oh, there. Oh, um, you keep your eyes on the road. No, I'm saying you with the camera. Really? What do you think about that, Chuck? I think some people are really uh, impatient to start with. And I, that was a kind word that I'm using there because. Uh, yeah, I'm pulling uh, 10,000 pounds and 35 feet and I'm going down a steep grade. I'm not going to go fast. So I'm actually using my manual right now so I can keep downshifting rather than using trailer brakes and brakes and heating them up and using uh, the engine to hold us back. And some people apparently can't wait. Luckily it's two lane and they can get around me now. Hey, I, this is Vogel Park better be worth it because this road coming in is pretty hairy scary. Allie said just a second ago, what did like, you say? It feels like a snake. It's just back, like and forth, back and forth. Snaking around. Back and forth, back and forth. I am in second gear pulling these hills. Ugh. Man. And it said six miles like 20 minutes ago and we're still five miles away. <laughs> Yep, watch for falling rocks. Oh boy. Oh boy. And look at this coming up. Wow. Yeah, this is uh Wow. This is Don't something. Don't hit that. My goodness. <laughs> I bet in the winter that would be all icy. Because I see some water trickling down, I bet that would be all frozen. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Well, we made it through the switchbacks. Arrived. So I have to say, we just arrived here at Vogel State Park, and it has got to be the prettiest campground, campsite we have ever stayed at. Creek right here. This is what we're going to be looking out our back window right here. And that's going to be our view. So we are just backed in. We got to get set up now. Time to get out the max chalks, chalk the tires. The site is perfectly level too, which is awesome. Uh, it's pretty good bundles of firewood. Whew. Well, good morning and look how beautiful it looks out the back of our RV this morning. But I tell you, last night there was some crazy wind and there were some things hitting the RV and the truck. And I'm going to have to go out and investigate this morning. It sounded like branches were falling. Well, just <laughs> FYI, if you are coming here to camp at Vogel State Park and you like your alcohol, especially liquor. It's or, a dry county. Well, it's not, It's they sell beer and wine only in this county, but not on Sunday. 
<laughs> I think we're finally, finally ready to hike, right? Yes. After going to Walmart, getting a new coat. Gloves, hat, we just weren't prepared. We are Floridians, we don't have these sort of things normally. <laughs> right, and we don't think about them because we're always in warm weather, so. So we're gonna go try to find some waterfalls over by the lake. Yeah. We have to be some of the world's worst hikers. So we get about a quarter mile down the trail and I realize I didn't put the backpack on this time. So guess who's running back to the truck to get the backpack? Yep. We just, uh, we never learn. Wouldn't have worried so much, but we went through the trouble of making a picnic to take down to the waterfalls and have our lunch. So it's got our food and drinks and snacks and everything in there. <sighs> it's all right, I need to get some few extra steps in right now. It's not gonna hurt me. Beautiful scenery that we saw there was Lake Trilita, which is a man-made lake, and they named the lake after the Cherokee princess, Trilita. This is a nice little uh, place to sit and enjoy the view. Nice. And they got stairs coming down from the entrance up there. I think you can park right there and start right here. Want to go for a swim? <laughs> why not? You know, why. you know the polar plunge is supposed to be really healthy for you. It's supposed to be good for your heart. Maybe I should do it. <laughs> So if you look at the grate right there and the water that's coming out, there's a pipe there. And the water that's coming out from the pipe is from the bottom of the lake. It's cold water. It's cold oxygenated water and it's the perfect habitat or it makes it for the perfect habitat for the trout. So they're getting the, just the right kind of water that they need to survive. Oxygen. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that's so neat. Yeah, over here on this other side is the spillway, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna assume that this is the top of the waterfalls right here. And we're gonna be looking at those momentarily when we uh, hike down to the bottom. Rotor that, because it goes all the way up. Wow, we are not sure if that is a split in the earth or what happened here, but that is, that's a big crack in the ground. Looks like they've uh, did some uh, renovations recently, some new fencing. Probably a good idea, that's a, that's a pretty steep drop. I don't think the camera really shows, but it is. I love the sound of rapids. Mm -hmm. I mean, waterfalls. Yeah. <laughs> and rapids, too. Oh. So, we're sitting here in the parking lot after our hike, and I was just telling Allie, I think that, you know, when we pulled in here yesterday, and you're looking, you know, basically out there at the, at the lake, and everybody's talking about how beautiful it is, I was like, Honestly, thinking to myself, it just looks like another lake to me, but it's when you are on the other side and you're looking back this way at the mountains to where we're sitting in the, you know, in the truck, the mountains in the background are just 
beautiful. Mm -hmm. So very epic. Definitely do yourself a favor. Go see on the far end of it. See that little walkway on the other side of the lake. Yes. If there's Way a bench down there, over there, and it's like perfect spot to be sitting and look at the sunset. Okay. switch back all the way going back the other way yep i would not want to pull an rv on this road i'm just saying no way no say no way no how time to cook some steaks on the grill for me no salt for ally no salt <laughs> if i don't get any salt you don't get any salt Forget how nice it is to be able to enjoy a campfire when it actually means something and it's actually doing something for you, like keeping you warm, because it's cold. It is cold and Nikki's got her coat on. She's ready to enjoy a little campfire. And how great is this right here at your campsite? The sound of running water. I do believe this is our first camping trip since we've been RVing that we are what? Friday night, Saturday, all day Sunday, and we haven't eaten out once. Not once. Because you are having issues with your blood sugar and blood pressure. So we have to watch that now. Yep. Tomorrow though, Helen, tomorrow, we go to Helen and I'm having me a wiener schnitzel. <laughs> well, we worked super hard trying to get this fire going and we were just, just about ready to give up. Yep. And all of a sudden one little flame came out of nowhere and now look at it. Yeah, I was like, it if was, it don't go after this last one, let's just go in. We tried everything we could. And, and now? We just couldn't get it to go, couldn't get it to go. And now it's toasty, we're toasty warm now. We are not the greatest campfire builders, but that is because what, Allie? We live in Florida. We don't really need them that often. Uh, we don't get enough practice. No, <laughs> that's what it is. Love being able to look out our window in our living room and see this. I'm gonna miss this. Global State Park Campground sure did not disappoint. All right. Such a beautiful campsite. I mean, looking out our back window here, I mean, we're like, what? 15, 20 feet from the creek. Yeah, you gotta drive up that road to get to the cabins up above. I don't wanna, I wouldn't wanna do it since we're not camping up there in the truck, but I would have done it in the, uh, I wonder if that's a residence for people who live here, I bet you. Right there, cause that's a house. That's a full residence. So as you can see here, they're definitely doing maintenance and repairs on a lot of this campground. You can see it through there. working this morning on it too. This is gonna be super nice, I bet, when they get it all done and a lot more campsites available. Thank you. 
Now up this way is for always for smaller, like pop-ups and small trailers because there's some narrow passages. Although I did see some campsites that I thought we could fit in, honestly. But, I mean, like this guy here, he's pretty much the same length as we are. And he's in there. Looks like, look at all the new picnic tables and stuff back there. They got ready to go. One of the first things that we learned about the state park is that Vocal State Park is one of the oldest state parks in Georgia, along with Indian Springs State Park. We learned a legend about this state park, that the Creek and the Cherokee Native American tribes that lived there, they had a battle above the state park, right there between Slaughter Mountain and Blood Mountain. And it was such a fierce battle, we found out that, that the creeks were filled with blood. In another part of the legend, we learned that the Cherokee tribe had placed their tribal treasures at the top of Blood Mountain in a cave. But nobody's found the cave, nor have they found the treasure. So I don't know. We just got through, finished filling up the truck this morning. It's uh, it's about 9.40 in the morning. We're getting ready to go back to the campground and hook up and say goodbye to Vogel for this year. But yeah. I tell you, when we first got to Vogel, we were kind of undecided on Vogel, but by the time we're leaving Vogel now, we are totally decided that we love this campground and we are definitely gonna try to come back here when the, when the fall leaves are in full color next year. We're gonna try to go ahead and book it way, way early and see if we can't get a site. And hopefully by then all the construction will be done and yeah. I'll be excited to see what it looks like after it's all done. Such a beautiful campground. We really, uh, we did really enjoy this one. That's, uh, this might be our favorite Georgia campground right now. Right. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for following us and coming along with us on our Don't journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification. All right. Until next time, we'll see you guys.